What is going on, people? It is your boy Daddy Mac, and I am back with another Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi Fi battle. Um, I don't know what Wi Fi battle we are on, but this is battle number two with this Intellion team, which is absolutely amazing. Um, I was having a conversation with a buddy of mine named Fallings about my Intellion, and um, I'm heavily thinking about investing in um, not necessarily EVs, but about giving it Ice Beam for more coverage. But I haven't done it quite yet, so we're gonna have to deal with the same exact moves that we have been dealing with with this Intellion. Make sure you guys go check out the Team Builder if you haven't already, or are, or if you are curious to seeing what our team looks like. So let's get started here. We are against Fernando, Fernando, who is bringing a really cool team. Uh, Dreadnought's a really cool Pokemon to see, and same thing with the Eldegoss. I've been wanting to use Eldegoss for a while, to be honest with you. Um, given that he has a lot of weaknesses to, um, let me see. I'm gonna predict he's gonna start with the Cinderace. And I'm just gonna start my Choice Scarf Crocodile right off the bat so we can get some Moxie boost going here. But I, I got a feeling that Talonflame is gonna be an MVP because a lot of his Pokemon are weak to a bug type attack that I'm running, which is absolutely U turn, um, in case you guys didn't know that. But Fernando, I absolutely love your elite card, by the way. It is awesome. I hope we have a really good battle today. I'm extremely excited because um, I'm doing a Wi-Fi battle today. I love I love when uh, when I take a little bit of a week week off of um, Wi-Fi battles and come back to actually record some Wi-Fi battles. I have a lot of fun doing it. All right, so this is actually a really good matchup in my favor here, and I'm really considering going Crunch right off the bat. But I'm actually, uh, you know what, should I, I'm gonna do it, I'm just gonna go crunch Part of me wanted a close combat to predict the high dragon, and I really should have, watch, he's gonna prove me wrong, he's gonna prove me wrong right here No, Aldegoss Okay, as long as he doesn't have cotton down As long as he doesn't have cotton down That's a bulky Aldegoss Defense dropped, you know what, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it anyways, you know what We don't care about the cotton down We do not care right now well, maybe if Eldegoss lives, we are absolutely going to hate a uh, Giga Drain from this thing. It's gonna... Another defensive drop, my boys! We're switching speed, uh, speed drops right now. De speed and defense drops. That drops is the word I was looking for. Okay, gets a little bit of health back. Please do not hit me with the... Okay, that's good. I'm absolutely okay with that, to be honest, because this Eldegoss is gonna go down no matter what. Depending on what my opponent goes to, I'm probably gonna bring a Moongus or the Snorlax. So we will see what is up. So this Aldegoss should be going down with another crunch, to be honest. It's at a minus two defense. Really lucky defensive drop um, on my on my side here. So that was huge. I got a feeling that was really huge. And it is because it, I got rid of its uh, physical wall. Withdraw, rightfully so. Probably gonna go into my dragon now. I thought so. So because this thing tends to be special, I'm gonna bring in my Snorlax here, which is the Salt Vest. And it should, it, watch another defense drop. No, we couldn't get a defense drop. It would be so nice if we got one. At the same time, I would be, I would have been really lucky. I'm gonna be honest, I've been trying to get a shiny Bulbasaur for like about a month now. And I still have not been able to get it. I have the worst luck and I'm already over a thousand four hundred eggs. Masuda method with the shiny charm. I cannot get a shiny Bulbasaur in Alert Ball. So I'm, I'm having a lot of bad luck right now. I'm not running the fighting type attack on my Snorlax, am I? I don't believe so. But I got a feeling that it's gonna, whatever he hits me with is probably gonna hurt. I'm gonna try to body slam for speed control, but I'm not sure yet. Let's see. Let's see. I'm really thirsty right now, excuse me. That, I, I'll take it. Eldegoss comes out. This is obviously not a regenerated Aldegoss, but this is gonna do. And you know what? The best part is that I'm running Fire Punch to catch this thing off guard. He's probably gonna outspeed me, but he's not gonna expect a Fire Punch at all. You can Leech Seed all you want, buddy. You can Leech Seed all you want. You're gonna get Fire Punched in the face. Boom. This thing's going down. Knockout number one goes to us. Leave a like if you guys are enjoying this battle so far or leave a like for us getting the first knockout of the battle This is hype This is hype. You won't see a Snorlax being used the way I'm using it very often 
So I'm really excited. Dreadnought comes out. And to be honest, I'm just gonna go Amoongus. I'm gonna threaten this thing with Amoongus. I'm I'm 100 percent invested in defense and HP with the bull nature, so we're gonna be able to take a, any attack from this thing. A self rock, rightfully so. Okay. Talon Flame has not liked these past two Wi-Fi battles. And that's okay. Um Honestly, I'm gonna go ahead and spore here. Because depending on what he's gonna bring out, it's gonna go to sleep and it's not gonna appreciate that so much. Reuniclus comes out. Gonna be put to sleep. So go sleepy bye, Reuniclus. Sleepy bye. Oh boy. We're putting we're putting in some work against my opponent's team so far. And I'm 100 percent okay with it. Now I part of me wants to go Talonflame, but it's not the move because of the stealth rock up. I really wish I had a rapid spinner. I really wish I had a rapid spinner, but unfortunately we don't, so we kind of have to deal with it. All right, Crocodile comes out. A beautiful Pokemon. One of my favorite Gen 5 Pokemon, by the way. And then this time around, I'm going to predict the switch. And I'm going to go close combat. Here comes the High Dragon Watch. Prove me wrong, Fernando. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. High Dragon comes out. We make the prediction. And he's going to take a close combat. And he's not going to appreciate this close combat either. My boys! Adamant Nature, 252 attack, 252 speed. Defense and special defense falls, which I really don't care about right now. If he decides to go into the um, Reuniclus, I'm simply going to go into my Talon Flame, I think. Intellion. Intellion is actually going to be able to sweep. Okay, so that's what we're going to do if he goes Reuniclus. Given that he knows that I'm Choice Scarfed. He probably should know that because I just revealed to him that I have close combat, which I didn't go to earlier. But Reuniclus does come out, which is perfectly fine. I'm about to go and tell you on here, and I'm, I'm about to make Fernando cry a little bit, and I'm really sorry about that. But we got to do what we got to do, right? All right, Intellion comes out, doesn't appreciate the Stealth Rock too much, but it's time for a Focus Energy. Focus Energy, Reuniclus, if you love your trainer, you'll stay asleep. You'll stay asleep. Focus energy, boys. That's a good thumbnail right there. That's a good thumbnail. You're asleep, and you're not going to appreciate what I got in store for you. So, we're going to hit this thing with the Dark Pulse, I think. Dark Pulse? I think so. Yeah, we're going to... Shadow Ball? I got options. They both did the same. I'm going to Shadow Ball. It's going to be a knockout anyways. You're not going to appreciate this. I'm Modest Nature, by the way. It's a crit! It's a crit! Of course it is. It's focus energy. But I still get hacked every time I get a crit, so... That's exciting. That's exciting. And my face is lagging a little bit. I think. It's probably because it just got darker. Alright. Dreadnought comes out. And I think I'm going to hit this thing with a snipe shot. Oh, I didn't want to do that yet. Oh, well. If Italian goes down here, he goes down. But... Look at this. It's a knockout. It's a crit. There you go. There you go. We just swept my opponent's team. And I don't like how I'm like laggy a little bit. I need to restart my uh, OBS. All right. Halucha comes out. He's probably going to outspeed me, to be honest. I'm going to Dynamax here, and we're going to call it a sweep. We're going to call it a sweep because Cinderace is going to come out next. And it's not going to appreciate a Hydro Snipe. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. All right. So we're going to go out. Di Gigantamax is the word. Look at how beautiful our Italian looks. How beautiful our Italian looks. Mm. Got the little swagger and then ready to shoot the opponent just like this. If I outspeed, I'm going to be surprised. I outspeed. You're supposed to be a fast Pokemon, Aluch. It's a knockout. And it's a crit. It's a crit. I'm absolutely having it. I'm having a really good day. I went to the gym today. And I did a full body workout. So my body hates me a little bit. But it's a good day. Did we, any of our Pokemon get... We 6-0'd my opponent? Wow. It was cancelled. I kind of want to do another battle. I kind of want to do another battle. But I don't know yet. Because we got Fall Guys before it gets dark. You know what? 
We're gonna call it a battle here. That was so high. Fernando, I am taking your lead card because it was awesome. We six owed my opponent. We six owed my opponent. That was the beautiful that, that was a beautiful sweep of Ford Italian. He didn't sweep the old team, but he swept a lot. And that was beautiful. Make sure you guys leave a like if you enjoyed this battle. Make sure you comment your thoughts about who the most valuable Pokemon was in this battle in the comment section down below. And subscribe to my channel for more Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battles and videos. It's your boy Daddy Mac. I will see you guys next time.